Hey guys, Karate Option 7 here, and today I know you're thinking, ah, you have not made another video for like 5,000 centuries. Yeah. So I just like got a new computer, it's a laptop now, it's really good, really smooth, and I love it. So I had to find a new recording system, which I still haven't found, but right now I'm using GarageBand to record my voice. So that happened. But right now, it's not about that. Right now I'm just gonna redo uh, a Percy Jackson book, All Rights to Record In. Uh, he's awesome. I love his books, and I this is just uh, something I wrote. Uh, all rights go to him, uh, so, yeah, I just hope this doesn't get a copyright strike. Please, because I'm giving all the rights to you. Like, seriously, like, you can take this down if you want. So, Percy Jackson, Uncontrolled, by Karate Wolf 27. Chapter 1. When I woke up, I glimpsed my body stretching, and I know you're thinking, Percy, you, my friend, are going crazy. But I'm not. Seriously, guys. Seriously. Before I saw my body do its thing without me do its own thing without me controlling it, I heard a woman's voice whisper in my head. It is time, Perseus Jackson. And that's when it happened, right after the creepy voice whispered in my head. It was like I was watching me do stuff without me wanting to do it. But then my vision flashed and and I was in my own body. After that confusing moment, I decided that I was imagining it. I looked over at my bed next to me, and I saw my half-brother, Tyson, looking back at me, confused. Is brother okay? asked Tyson worriedly. Yeah, Tyson, yeah, I'm fine, I lied, as I clumsily clambered out of my bed, slipping into my orange camp half-blood t-shirt and my blue jeans. Then I remembered. Tyson, I gotta go! Jason's visiting from Camp Jupiter! I told Tyson as I rushed out the door to meet Jason. Chapter 2 As I rushed out, I heard a woman's voice again, saying, Repeat history, repeat the war. Suddenly, I was watching my body again, but it wasn't a glimpse. It was full on control. I couldn't control my body whatsoever. I watched as my body, or should I say I, walked down to breakfast and sat sit beside Jason. And then it flickered back to me, controlling my body. Weird. What the heck was happening to me? Percy, my bro! Jason exclaimed excitedly. Hey, Jason, my bro! I replied back. I decided not to mention my glimpses of my body next to Jason while I drank my blue Coke. Peter Johnson, you're not allowed to sit at the Zeus table. Go back to the Poseidon table, Mr. D exclaimed angrily, though I don't know why he cared, as I walked back to my table. When I sat down, Aunt Beth, my girlfriend, snuck over to my table and sat down. Hey, seaweed brain, you okay? Annabeth said. No, not really. There has been there has been a voice in my head, and whenever it speaks, I can't control my body. I, I just watch me do stuff without controlling it. I explained to Annabeth. Hmm. Can you do anything when you're in this state? What does the voice say? Is it a girl or a boy? Annabeth replied, concerned. No, I can't do anything. I can't talk. I can't move. I'm just there, it's a woman's voice saying things like, It is time, Percy Jackson, and repeat history, repeat the war, I replied, not looking at her. Gaia, Annabeth muttered. I think she's possessed you, Percy. Let's get to Chiron, Annabeth said as I nodded in agreement. Chapter 3 While we were walking, Gaia suddenly whispered in my mind, Kill her. She hit. I yelled out to warn Annabeth as I started watching my body again. Percy? Oh, gods, no! She looked up as I drew Riptide and started slashing at her. I struggled to regain control as Annabeth threw on her Yankees cap and disappeared. Thank the gods. Suddenly, my hand with Riptide in it slapped forward and pinned the invisible Annabeth. My mouth curved upward in a cruel and creepy smile. Then I did something that scared me and Annabeth out of our minds. I started controlling poison. Percy, stop it! You can fight it! screamed Annabeth as I pushed the poison closer and closer to her. There is no fighting me, Perseus Jackson, a gravelly voice said out of my mouth. 
Annabeth looks crying now as the poison moved right next to her head. An arrow suddenly flew past my ear. As it did, I dropped the poison in surprise and some flew onto Annabeth. But as it did, Kyron bonked me on the head with his wooden quiver and I passed out before I could ask Annabeth if she was okay. If I even could, that is. Chapter 4 when I woke up, I was back in my own body, but the creepy grin was still on my face. I quickly replaced it with a um, somewhat normal face. Anna was crouched, looking concerned. Y you okay, seaweed brain? asked Anna Beth worriedly. Y yeah, I I'm fine, wise girl. I laughed shakily. I glimpsed Anna Beth breathing a sigh of relief before I continued. I saw what I did to you. I tried my hardest to control it, but but I couldn't. C couldn't. You okay? I asked, concerned. Yeah, but thank the gods you're okay, Percy. I thought Gaia had you for sure, replied Annabeth. D do you think she's gone? I asked her. I'm not sure, but Kyron sure thinks she's gone, said Annabeth. Does the whole camp know? I asked her. Yeah, Percy, I'm sorry. The whole camp is trying to avoid go going to the infirmary, except Will, Nico, Tyson... Grover and me, she explained. Oh, I replied without emotion. Then Annabeth started trying. I'm just so scared when you started attacking me. It, it was like Tartarus all over again, she sobbed. I got out of the bed I was resting in and pulled her into a hug. It's okay. I'm fine now, I said. I love you, Annabeth Chase, I whispered in her ear. Anyway, guys, I just hope that you enjoyed that fan fiction that I just randomly wrote because I was kind of bored, and I really wanted to make some fan fiction. Don't judge me, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, if you guys want to hear more of my content, uh, I literally have, like, a video, like, every 500 weeks or something, so just warning you, don't expect another video coming out soon. I'm trying my hardest to find another recording system, I'm looking as hard as I can, so hopefully we'll get back on the usual schedule of Minecraft, uh, or maybe some Pokemon stuff, or some more Percy Jackson fan fiction. So, I hope you enjoyed this storytelling time with Karate Wolf 27. Goodbye, Wolf out. Arr!